back to my channel, Kicks with Fresh. Now, if you're new here, you can call me K-Fresh. And in today's video, I'm going to give you a review and on feet of the Air Jordan 1 Mid Royal Black Toe. Now, before we get into the logistics of this video, please make sure to hit that subscribe button. Your girl just made it to another milestone, which was 800 subscribers, and I'm already grinding to that 900 spot. Thank you so much to all of my new subscribers, my day ones, the people that have been rocking with me. Kick Squad is in the building. Please make sure to check all of my videos out and all of my Kick Squad down in the description below. Sub up to them as well. Also, please make sure to like, comment, share. So now that we got that all out of the way, I want to go ahead and jump right into this review. Now, really quickly, just know that these shoes dropped on a random time, on a random day. There was no release date on these sneakers. So when they dropped, you know I already had to scoop them up. All right, enough of me rambling on and on and on. So let's go ahead and get into the shoe. So the tag actually does read Air Jordan 1 Mid SE. Um, the retail on this shoe was 125 and the size tag reads nine in men's. The color code also does read white, hyper royal, and black. So that is the official color code. So I'm gonna go ahead and do you all the honors of seeing this shoe before I have. I did take it out of the shipping box, but I have not actually seen the shoe. So there you have it, the Air Jordan 1 Mid SE Royal Black Toe. So let's go ahead and take these bad boys out of the box. Um, and get into some of the details of this sneaker. Um, this was a sneaker that, you know, like I said, I had to pick up because of the colorway. Now this was a sneaker that I knew I had to get, not only because of the colorway, like I explained earlier, but this is also a very dope sneaker. Like a lot of people, they kind of hate on mids or really they just don't prefer mids. I rock what I like and not what's hype. Um, there are some shoes that I do have that are hype, but for me, a lot of times general releases, if I like it, it came out as a new silhouette, as a new colorway, I might grab it just because I like shoes. So let's start with the outer sole of the sneaker. So as you can see, you do have a Hyper Royal outer sole. This is the typical Air Jordan 1 outer sole, so nothing really new to see here. When you move over to the lateral side of this sneaker, you do get this white paneling. That is all around the sneaker, so there's nothing, you know, really fancy about that. When you get to the midsole of the sneaker, you see a whole bunch of different colorways, right? So you see that Hyper Royal, you see that gray poking out, you see this black night swoosh um, and as well as in the black um, you know with the toe box so I want to kind of break down some things here that I actually see so right now you do see the wings logo which does have that hyper royal colorway I think that is absolutely awesome especially when you got it contrasting with the white as well as that peak of gray y'all like I, I that that right there is a must Hot for me like when I saw like just how they did this whole back area I was very very interested in learning more about this sneaker and getting it in hand so when you go to the back of this sneaker I think this is what really sets the sneaker off for me um, you do have that hyper royal this is in an amazing suede like this is a very good quality y'all like people always get on mids because they feel that they are not quality or they just have that perception that they're not quality but this sneaker really did have some quality materials on it and you also have this gray here that peeks out and that is also very very quality y'all and so when you get to the medial side of the shoe of course you do see that gray poking out again as well as that hyper royal on the heel of the sneaker and then you have that swoosh so let's talk materials when it comes to the swoosh and the toe box y'all so this is actually a nylon material I don't know if you all can see that but I just want to show you the details here because this is not leather like people probably think this is leather when they see the pictures of this sneaker this is actually nylon and I think that this will be um, a lot more durable now obviously you do want to spray this with some of your favorite shoe cleaning product um, but at the end of the day like this is more um, you know, you could you could do better with this sneaker with having this nylon on the sneaker, in my opinion. So let's go right into the toe box, right? So you do have a white, um, you know, here. And let me actually take the shoe tree out because 
then I can show you what it what it's really hitting for. But you do have it, it is stiff, so um, in terms of quality right here, it's not the best. But I again love the nylon around here around the toe. I think that's very nice um, and a nice touch and very durable. This sneaker does come with the standard black laces. There were no additional laces in my box, so um, you know don't think that you are going to have some additional laces. If I had some hyper royal laces, y'all, I probably would switch it up just because for the simple fact that you do have a tongue here that has a, um, you know, jump man as well as air written. And then you do have that hyper royal stitching. I thought that was also a nice touch for this sneaker. It just gives it something different. Um, you know, not all of the mids have that. So I just really, really was feeling this. So let me go ahead and um, actually loosen up this sneaker a little bit so that you can see um, the inside so in the insole you do have obviously the size tag sticker which is nine and then you do have a hyper royal jump man as well so that is basically all there is to this sneaker um, again I, I really am impressed with one um, the execution of this sneaker as well as really just the overall quality um, what I will say is the SEs um, they actually have usually have a lot better quality than um, just, you know, the regular Air Jordan 1 mids. And so um, they did give us some different materials, which I love to death. So let me go ahead and show you some B-roll of the sneaker so you can really get a better idea of the detailing on this sneaker. One thing that I forgot to mention is there is a black sock liner within the sneaker. So, you know, just be careful when you're wearing your socks. You might get them little dust bunnies or fuzzies when you are wearing the sneaker. If you, you know, if it is something that is a kind of like a beater almost where you want to wear it all the time, whether you're going out on an errand or just, um, you know, chilling and wanting to go hang out, you can start getting the sock bunnies. Another thing is these sneakers do run true to size. So if you're never picked up a Air Jordan 1 or Air Jordan 1 mid, they do run true to size. No, no, you know, I have, I have wide feet and you know, these sneakers work fine for me. If you have a narrow foot, you definitely should be fine in these sneakers. Um, and then the last thing that I will say is, you know, I'll give an overall rating of these sneakers. It's been a while since I've rocked an Air Jordan 1 mid, um, just because, you know, uh, in terms of some of the colorways that were coming out, I wasn't as interested in them. But, you know, for me, this sneaker, I give it like an 8 out of 10. Again, the qualities are a 1 on this sneaker. Uh, mine is like the toe box. Like I said, it's a little, it's a little stiff. Um, my sneakers don't tend to crease as bad just because I don't wear them as often as I probably should. Um, and then also, I think it's just the way that I walk. Like, it'll crease right at the top, but you, it's not very noticeable in the toe box area. So, um, you know, this sneaker is a good quality buy, um, you know, for that $125. You really can't beat this. I think this is also a great back to school summer shoe. Um, so if you have kids or you know somebody who is looking for some new shoes, they also have this in a uh, kind of a red, I don't know the official colorway, but they do have it in that red colorway. So, you know, where the Hyper Royal is on this shoe, you will get red on the other sneakers. So I might try to pick those up as well if they ever restock, um, just because, you know, to me now it's a pack. Like when you think about it, it's a pack. And I can wear the left shoe with the Hyper Royal and the right shoe with the red and go ahead and throw on some KU gear. And I'm in there. You know, I'm at the game, you know, on my couch, basically, because, you know, we can't go to no basketball games. But that is all I have for you all today. If you like this video and want to see more, please make sure to smash that subscribe button. Thank you all so much for the support. And until next time, you already know what to do. Stay fresh.